That's right, it's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament and it's time once again for Shogun. As you see up here, we have our Shogun champion, our Shogun Shogun, uh, Betty Crocker. Those of you who don't know, and you might not know because this is not part of the, the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, I, the first video series I did of Real People cards was a game of Shogun and Betty Crocker was the winner. So at the end of that, I hope he doesn't mind that I just plucked him up there, um, I wrote Shogun on the card, on his card. So that means he's a Shogun, which is means he automatically gets to be uh, in this, this game and he can continue in the tournament if he wins. So he's gonna uh, retain his color black and Honestly, I haven't played Shogun since that game, so he might get some sort of like advantage. Maybe he gets to be the first first player. Um, I forget how that's that's sorted out. So this is exciting for me. Shogun's a great game to play solitaire, um, even though it has the hidden action selection. Something about, I guess, since there are so many different hidden actions you select, and if you play five players, you're going to have all of those, it's really easy to not remember what you put down, which makes it a lot easier to, to make those choices. And it's easier to kind of just look at the board and make your own choice based on your own perspective uh, for each of the players. So a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to this. We have our people coming in from Empire Make History on the your living room floor uh, trying to become the Baralti player in uh, Time Agent. I think this is going to be an even better game. I'm sorry that I won't talk any more about the game, I, the last game in the series. Um, but Shogun is a game I definitely prefer to play over that one, so I'm excited for that. Yes, yes, yes. So I decided on several advantages for Betty Crocker being the Shogun in this game. Um, and in return, there is one sort of thing he's putting on the line, and that is that if he loses, which means if he's eliminated, one person is going to be eliminated after this game and they won't return or go on to in the tournament unless they get through Outdoor Survival. If he loses, he'll lose his title of Shogun. Otherwise, he gets to keep it. Because, you know, it was a special thing. Um, so his his other advantage, his advantages that he's getting in exchange for that is he's going to get more money than everyone else. He gets to put twice as many armies in the tower to start off with. And he gets a palace in his first province. And he's choosing Bichu as his first province. Um, I think mainly because that's he was in this area last game and he uh, feels good about that and it kind of just makes sense to me. Actually, uh, knowing Betty Crocker, he might actually pick Kai because he was here last game, but I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of force him to choose Bichu's because it makes sense that that's where he like gained power is from this kind of green area um, and so that's where he is going to start out. All right, and here we have uh, the provinces as people drew them. It was a whole process. I filmed a lot of it. I decided that it's. I'm just going to kind of show you the end result. I really enjoyed watching it happen as it went, um, but then it sort of devolved, probably because I'm very tired, into me just talking about each single um, card draw, which I think probably would have been um, very monotonous after a while uh, when I meant to just kind of go over it. So here's here's how it went. Um, Junior ended up through, you know, he ended up with, I think, a random card draw. No, maybe he picked Hokey purposely, I don't remember. But he ended up very luckily getting all the areas around the, the palace at Bichu. Not that the palace at Bichu really matters other than that it's a palace that's already built and so he could he could take it. But you know, he's he's showing the Shogun that the Shogun is not going to um, be able to to waltz away with this game, I think. Um, Destructo, he started out in Mutsu, then kind of ended up he ended up in this. Uh, his next, his next random one was Iwami. He took a, a, a random card, which he placed a five there. At the at the time, it was just these, these three, no, Hoki, Bichu, and then he put five in Iwami. Uh, it looked like it could have been a, like a three-way struggle. He didn't. He had a choice at one point to um, 
go with one of these other provinces in the area. He took something over here instead, so kind of decided, uh, kind of put a foot there, but then kind of pulled out, and most of his resources are now in the east, um, going up against Sonny, who's entirely in the east, so it's going to be tough for him to pull, pull, you know, to, to keep this area away from Sonny or to take it from Sonny, he might be in trouble just looking at the board position right now. It's it's a not a I don't I don't think it's a it's an advantage to to be in this position. He's he has all the things that Sonny wants and well except for um, Junior who has Sagami here I think was a random draw. And he doesn't have as many forces to devote to that because he to 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 defending it because he has these few little spotty islands there. Um, Pinky did a little bit better. She was she was going towards... Um, she started in uh, Omi. She was, she was attracted by the three building spots, the three cities. She would like to build a lot and and just kind of hopefully pe have people leave her alone, work for her well in Empire, make history on the living room floor. Um, she's hoping that it'll work for her here as well. Uh, got some good money spaces. Um, on a random draw, she got Aki, and then on another random draw, she got Yo. So that's going to kind of give her kind of a split focus. She may be able to hold these. Um, Yo is, a, is an attractive territory to her also. It has three building spots. So that's where she's at. Junior, we already talked about him. He's the barbarian at the gates of the palace, and Sunny is right there. Let's um, dump these pile of cubes into the cube tower. All right, I'm going to remind you that the Shogun has twice as many cubes as the other players. Uh, 14. The other players have 7. The farmers have 10. Now this is a lot more cubes than I've ever seen dropped in at one time, so I wonder if maybe... You know, they won't all just come out. We'll see. Right. Looks like quite a few actually stayed in. Um, I'll sort them out, and then I'll give you an idea of what's in the tower to start the game. That's not a service I'm going to provide to you, though, as the game continues. So, Betty Crocker, the Shogun, has nine cubes there. Uh, that means he has five still remaining in the tower, which is quite a bit more than the other players. Well, not a lot. Destructo has three still in the tower, as does Junior. Um, the other two, Sonny and Pinky, both just have one in there, and the farmers have three. So, you know, he's got a little bit of an advantage in terms of cubes, but a lot of black cubes fell out. All right, we have our action set up and our events for the year and our special actions up yonder. Um, looking at the events just quickly, I haven't really looked at them yet, but we have two of these which make it so that if you have a temple, you are not going to be under attack. Um, I'll have to look at what that does. I think that means if you have a no theater, people are less likely to revolt because they're so impressed with your theater, and this probably means you get an extra army, which will be a boon for our Shogun Betty Crocker if he can uh, keep it through the seasons. You know, it depends on when that comes up. Um, some fairly stiff rice penalties here, so people are going to need to be watching. If this doesn't come up before winter, that could be um, a big problem. So players are going to come up with their actions, and then we will go from there. Looks like, according to this event, that the winter won't be so harsh. Lucky thing for all, all the people of ancient Japan, or not ancient Japan, of Japan. Um, we've bidded for turn order. We've, we've revealed the bid. Junior and Destructo are tied, so they're going to shuffle up their Nori, Motonari, and... Um, Uesugi Kenshin cards to see who gets to pick first. And it is going to be Destructo. And there we have it. Um, Pinky got the first pick on the next random draw. She chose the money. Junior went with the, uh, the reinforcements. Sonny got to choose after Pinky. He got an extra defense bonus, and that left the Shogun with the rice bonus. Players aren't thinking too much about rice right away, because they weren't sure um, exactly when this might, what would come up if it, if they would need to store up a lot or a little. It looks like they're not going to store up, have to store up very much, um, and this minus four could come up sooner than later. So now players are going to see if anyone wants to build a no temple. 
Destructo does not. Pinky does. The Shogun does not. I can tell you, I'm pretty sure it's just Pinky who wants to build a No Temple. And that's true. If she had had a revolt marker, she would get to remove it in the Omi province. However, there are no revolts yet since this is the spring of the first year of the world. Unlike the no theater, predictably, uh, quite a few people built temples. The only person who didn't was Junior. Uh, the most interesting temple build, and you know, they're building it for that that temple immunity. Uh, the most interesting one was the temple in Bichu because of the um, obvious aggressive um, situation here, potential for aggression between Junior and Betty Crocker. Um, that's going to put uh, some some uh, big time uncertainty uh, for Junior's attacks. If Junior chooses to attack Bichu this turn, he has a chance to take it. But remember, there are a lot of um, Shogun cubes, black cubes, in that tower. So if he can't pull it off, it's going to be uncertain for the rest of the year. Um, whether or not uh, an attack on Bichu would even work. So in my memory of my experience, this card is one of the more revealing in terms of players' intentions in the game, and one of the more interesting cards. This is the one that allows you, for the cost of one treasure chest full of resource, um, you can place a cube on the, the, the named province and then move as many from that province to another province, which I think speaks volumes of a, of a given player's intentions in terms of the two provinces involved in the transaction. So let's go around and look at what everyone did. Uh, Pinky, she added to Aki and then moved out of Aki. That, that tells me, um, or I think it should tell the other players, that she is clearing out of this hotbed. Um, there's, you know, Aki, she was a dwarf among or a little person, I'm sorry, among giants. Um, now, Junior, I'll go and play order. Destructo, where did he move? He moved to Shinano here um, from Kozuki. All right, so that that informed Sonny's move. He he had already chosen Musashi. Um, he had a number of two, two basic places he could have moved from Musashi. Shimosa, which is adjacent to Kazusa here, and then also... Um, adjacent to Kai. He went with moving from Musashi to Kai, probably in reaction to Destructo's move to Shinano. So, you know, it's a, it's a telegraphy move. It probably would have been... Well, I mean, Destructo couldn't have known what, what card um, Sunny would have moved from, but if the player order had been different, I think the movement might have been different in that case. Next was Junior. Junior did an interesting move. He moved from Bizen to Har Harima here. So he moved actually away from the palace there. Um, so we'll see where he's going with that. And Betty Crocker, he moved from Tosa. Uh, he actually didn't move from Tosa. <laughs> he he added one to Tosa. And then, you know, there's all these guys in EO now. He decided to just leave that guy there. So he kind of, um, kind of lost out on his move. He didn't move anywhere. Um, I think he would, I mean, he obviously was planning to move to Awashikoku from Tosa, but that no longer became a, a very good option uh, because of this large, large pile of cubes, pinky cubes. It is time for the first combat round of the game. It's actually going to be B, not A, which is a little counterintuitive. Um, but that's the way the cards came out. Pinky is not going to fight. Destructo is. Um, he's attacking from Shinano. He had the choice between going to, well, he could have gone to any of these neutral provinces. He also could have gone against Kai, which is Sunny's big build up there. Um, he's instead going against Ichigo. Um, farmers are going to be working for Sunny. Sunny gets a bonus because of this. Um, Destructo also gets a bonus, so I'll have to get that out and then drop it in all into the tower. And here we go. Looks like quite a lot of cubes came out. Uh, Destructo definitely had it. Um, not a, by a huge margin, however. The farmers are, are really helping Sunny out in this case. Um, I think, yep, Destructo has is up by one, which is enough to take it, and that's going to be fine for him. Achigo's kind of nestled back in there, so it's going to take. It would take Sunny a couple actions to get over there. Anyway, um, unfortunately for Sunny, Achigo was his big. Um, reinforcement 
for the round. So he's not going to be able to get that because that province is now in Destructo's hands. And let's see who Sonny is going to attack with. He's attacking with Kai. So, hmm, interesting choices there. Um, so he could be, he could immediately retaliate, which would be sort of uh, the kind of the emotional response I think would make sense. Um, he could also go after Totomi before the temple effect kicks in. Um, I think he's probably going to go with the emotional response. There's going to be no bonuses this time. And he's not going to attack with everyone, though. He's going to attack with four, I think. Against one in a Chigo. No one gets a bonus cube. Um, these guys are all going to go back in. Whoops. Bump that up. Ah, I'm dropping things everywhere. I'm not very proficient with my left hand. I'm going to have to stop the camera and pick up all these cubes I'm dropping. All right, so since Destructo, Destructo lost some cubes from the tower from before, let's see what we get. Uh, looks like that's going to be a victory, again, by a very slim margin for Sunny. So Sunny gets Shinano right there. Um, where's Shinano? Oh, yeah, right here. And, geez, they're really thinning themselves out. You know, if uh, Junior wanted to build up Sagami, he could probably chew these guys up if they keep at it for a while. But Junior's going to attack from Hokey. This is a rather, I don't know, maybe a foolish move, maybe a ballsy move. Depends on how you look at it. Five on five, the, uh, remember the, the Shogun has quite a few cubes in the tower already. I'm actually going to pick these up. I'm going to set the camera down, pick these up, and then turn it back on. All right, here we go. Um, does anyone get any bonuses? Nope. It's going to be straight up. Farmers are on the Shogun side right now. And wow, yeah, that's going to take out quite a lot. Dunk. Bada dunk. And oh, he almost had it. Wow. That's really going to... Oh, and I forgot to... I keep doing this. I keep forgetting to leave a cube behind. Hmm. I think what I need to do is I need to just leave a cube behind here and put this black cube back in the tray. That's the best I can fix it. It's maybe not perfectly fair, but that's how we got to do it. And finally, Betty Crocker is going to be attacking Destructo from Awa Shikoku. He's lucky. Destructo, um, already taxed Sanuki, so the farm, any farmers that come out are going to be on his side. And we'll see. I picked them all up with my left hand. You're impressed with me. Here we go. Uh, yeah, it's a wash. So, Awa, or Sanuki is gone. I don't know if this revolting marker stays or not. There's no one there. I think they all go away. I think everything is washed away when there's a tie. I think I read that. All right, we've gone through rice confiscations and the um, big reinforcements. Rice confiscations, Junior and Pinky were the only people who bothered to steal rice from their peasants. Um, in terms of reinforcements, pretty interesting. I think uh, the reinforcements are pretty revealing as well and have a big effect, especially the larger one. Um, Destructo went down here, so he's got a big chunk here. Musashi is definitely wide open for um, attack. In the future, however, that's going to put him kind of in between um, all this redness. It's kind of like a, it's like an American election map with these two people in the east, and then I don't know who the yellow party is in the United States. We're not very good on having more than two ideas. Um, uh, sorry, I got on a tangent. Um, so, oh yeah, Junior, he got the he got the mega reinforcements because of his special ability. Went in bingo. So. Man, bingo is is huge. That's going to you know put him in striking range for a lot of. Well, there's a lot of big guys in here, and then there's still the Shogun Palace. Um, the Shogun himself, he placed um, a bunch in Tajima, which was sort of his little weak little island over here on the the far side of Junior's forces. Um, we'll see what what effect that has. Let's move on to more reinforcements.
And we've done uh, all the reinforcements now. We're going to be heading into the attack phase. Um, and we also bought palaces. The only person who did was Pinky uh, and Matsuzaka. Uh, while I was doing the reinforcements, it struck me, especially when I, was, when I was placing cubes right here in Iwami, how much effort, uh, how many resources these people are putting into given provinces just to have more than the person next to them. It seems really inefficient if, well, I guess it depends on what your goal is, but in terms of the, the people who live here um, in this land of cubes, uh, it seems really a really an inefficient way to to make life better for them. Um, seems like a lot of the resources are to try and be bigger than the person, the group next to you, as opposed to um, helping anyone. And so they'll fight. Pinky will not, however. Um, Destructo, I bet will. Let's see what he put. Mutsu, Mutsu is up here. Hmm. Well. I don't know what he was thinking with that, but I guess he's thinking he's going to attack Hitachi. That seems like a more destructo move than going at Shimotsuki. So that's what he will do, and they will both get their bonuses. So I'm going to fish those out, and then we'll be dumping more cubes into the cube tower. Destructo is playing rather aggressively, and not in a like a, an aggressive like I'm actually stronger than you, so I'm going to be aggressive. He's like he's a three three against four is what he's going against here, um, and I don't think he I mean, it doesn't look like he has more cubes in the tower. These are the ones that came out. That's the supply. It's quicker to put it there than to put them back in the bag and then take them out again. Um, Anyway, it'll be interesting next video. I, I'm going to do what I did last time and kind of focus on each person um, in each season. So uh, Destructo is going to have summer. This is spring right now, for those of you who don't know. There we go. And, yep, uh, Destructo got destroyed. Been waiting for that one. But he weakened Hitachi a little bit. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it was a smart move. Sonny's turn to attack. He's going to attack from Shimosa. I, I should actually check to see if you have to attack. I, I think if he doesn't have to, he's not going to. But I think for some reason he might have to. Uh, I kind of like that idea that he has to. Okay, from my reading of the rules, attacking is actually a movement. So it's not... You don't necessarily have to attack... Um, it's just if someone, if the, the province you're moving to isn't yours, then it becomes an attack. So I think what he's going to do is treat it as a movement and move to two to Mus Musashi. I think that's the way Sonny's going to play this. And then i got to go fast now because I hear my son yelling, done, done, he's done from his nap. Harima, uh, Junior's attacking room, Harima, that's right here. Hmm. His plan was to, to get a quick shot on Tajima there. That doesn't look like that's going to work out for him, however. Hmm. But going against Harima will actually make for kind of weaken Tajima, so he has less of a danger behind him. Hmm. I think he's going to go through with his plan to attack. Man, that's, that's a huge amount, but I guess he's just trying to... Uh, does he want to do that or not? I'm going to have to consult with Junior really quickly. My son's crying now. I have to... He's going to go ahead and do it. Um, Junior is tough one for me to make decisions for, for for this main reason. He's got two conflicting things when it comes to um, how attacky he's going to be. One is that he really believes in live and let live. So he's not going to want to fuss with other people but at the same time it's playing a game where there is combat combat is a, a it's, you know it's an important part of this game though not definitely not all of it but also um he's got this live and let live but he also wants to be a fighter pilot so i'm having him do all these like you know against the odds moves like i'm a fighter pilot you know which kind of works with the live and let live thing he's just having fun i think so here we go tajima uh, again, Harima against Tajima, and that's a that's a huge defeat for Junior here, isn't it? I see that, blump, blump, blump. But I think you know he was successful in that he um, 
definitely softened up Tajima, so it's no longer a very good province to attack from. Moving on, I know I said my son's crying, but my wife is here, um, so she can get him. I'm just kind of technically supposed to be responsible for him right now. Um, the Shogun's going to go against Noto, uh, is what he's going to do. He's not going to... Yeah. He's going to move into Noto from Kaga. And he's going to be putting a farmer in there for defense. He's hoping he still has enough things in the, the tower, despite all the attrition he suffered. And it, he does not. The farmers took him down. And that's going to do it. Feels good to be playing Shogun again. It's been a while. I've been wanting it to, um, wanting to get it to table with uh, actual humans too. In the intervening time, it has not happened. Um, I'm not going to go into that right now. Um, it's it's coming back to me, and that you know I'm seeing the game differently than I did several months ago. I think I, I have a lot more um, other games under my belt, so that's been fun. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in seeing where it's going. And I like the uh, the history that's developing between this group of players. I think, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that might be the way to go with these real people. It gives them some history beyond their, you know, history and game beyond their personality. I look forward to the Summer of Destructo next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament Shogun.